Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today we will be completing the mini quest, Curse of the Empty Lord. The quest requirement is the start of Desert Treasure 1 until you have received the Ring of Visibility, as well as the start of the Restless Ghost quest until you have received a Ghost Speak amulet. Skill requirements? None, but there is a 1 in 3 chance that you will need 31 prayer to complete this mini quest. For the items needed, simply a Ghost Speak amulet and a Ring of Visibility. You can also use the Mauritania Lex in substitute for a Ghost Speak amulet, but there is a 1 in 3 chance that you will need to go to Entrana, which does not allow you to take those legs. For the suggested items are approximately 2 full stamina potions and some weight reducing clothing. But do not bring anything you do not wish to lose. This quest will take you above level 30 wilderness and dying above level 30 wilderness will make you lose your untradeables. So do not bring anything you do not wish to lose such as your graceful set. Next up what might be helpful is some armor, weapon and some food to kill low level monsters as well as also some food and maybe prayer potions for protect from melee to pass monsters up until combat 130. Next up, for the teleports, since there are three paths, I will be writing down the teleports needed for every path. But first off, we will need to know which path we have, and this is random for everyone. So let's first equip our Ring of Visibility as well as our Ghost Peak Amulet, and let's make our way south of the Barbarian Assault and just west of the Fishing Guild to Galerial's Tomb from the Waterfall Quest. Here in front of it, you should find a ghost. Talk to the mysterious ghost and select one. He press in space until you have received the ghostly rope. Let's talk to the ghost again. Select one. And then space three times. One, two, three. And this dialogue is what you need to pay attention to and read, because that decides what path is chosen for you. If the ghost says something about pirates and a shipwreck north, this means you have path one. If the ghost says something about bandits northeast, that means you have path two. If the ghost says something about bandits southeast, that means that you will have path 3. Please go to the garments and check your time when your path starts. For path 1, the needed teleports is 1 to the pirate shipwreck, which is in level 55 wilderness. The closest teleport would be a Gorak teleport or a burning amulet teleport or a teleport to the Edgefield lever. Next up, we will need to go to the Chaos Temple. I'm simply going to be running there. Next up, we will need to go to Entrana. To go to Entrana, I'm going to be running south to be able to teleport at level 20 or level 30. I'm going to be teleporting to a bank and then teleporting to Entrana. The fastest way would be to use the hot air balloon at Castle Wars, else a cabbage teleport or a minigame teleport to Rat Pits, which is what I'm going to be using. After Entrana, we will need to make our way to the Witness Tower, which is simply using a Necklace of Passage. And after that, a teleport to level 50 wilderness once again to the rogues castle. I'm gonna be using a games necklace to Ferox Enclave and using an obelisk and hopefully get to level 50 quite quickly. And once the mini quest has been completed I'm gonna be using the same obelisk to teleport myself hopefully quickly to below level 20 wilderness so I can teleport to Verrock to claim the reward. Once you are ready for path one let's make our way to the pirate shipwreck in level 55 deep wilderness. I'm gonna simply teleport to Gorak, run north to the fence and then west, open the gate and then follow the path to the shipwreck. If you're not gonna be using the obelisks or a Gorak teleport you could also use the Edgeville lever.
So around the rocks next to the shipwreck, there should find a ghost. Talk to the ghost and select option one. Let the ghost tell her story, how she get cursed by Zerath, and you will receive the ghostly gloves. Once you have received the ghostly gloves, run south. Let's make our way to the Chaos Temple. If you don't want to run all the way to the Chaos Temple, you could also make your way to Mage Bank and then teleport to Garak again or something. Once you've made it to the Chaos Temple, around it somewhere should be the ghost. Right inside of the temple. Talk to it, select option 1, and make the ghost tell its story. Once the story has been told, you will receive the ghostly boots. Once you've received the boots, let's run south and make our way to Entrana. But notice, on Antrana, you cannot bring the Mauritania legs if you've been using that for a Ghost Peak amulet. Also, you can't bring any weapons or armor. So the fastest way would be to teleport to Castle Wars and use that bank to deposit your armor and weapons. But if you can't use the hot air balloon right there, then use any teleport to any bank. Once you've deposited everything that is not allowed on Entrana, let's make our way over there. I'm going to be using a mini game teleport. Where are those again? So here at the monks, we'll first need to quickly drop our ghostly rope, gloves and boots, because those are not allowed on Entrana, apparently. After you have dropped those three pieces, take the boat to Entrana. We have about two minutes before the ghostly ropes despawn, which is more than time enough. Cross the gangplank and go enter the church. Near the chapel should be the third ghost called Lenisa. Let's talk to the mysterious ghost. Select option one. After the conversation is over and you have received the ghostly bottoms, let's make our way back to Port Serum to pick up our dropped ghostly ropes. Once you've picked those back up, let's teleport or run to the wizard's tower. 
Once with that, enter the wizard's tower and here on the main floor. Near the bookcases, you should find the fourth ghost called Dalak. Talk to him, select option one. So he will tell his story and you will receive a ghostly hood. Once you've received the ghostly hood, let's make our way to the rogue's castle. I'm going to be using the games necklace to corporal beast. Exit the cave. And from there, I'm going to go a little southeast to the obelisk. Activate it. And hopefully I will go to the rogue's castle on my first attempt. And by the power of editing, yeah, I did not take like five or six teleports. Once we are here at the rogue's castle, let's go northwest and go inside. Once we are here inside, let's go to the second floor. And there should be our final ghost that we'll need to speak to. Yeah, there he is. Let's talk to the final ghost called Vigor. Select option one. So he will tell you his story. And you will receive the final item, the ghostly cloak. Once you have this, let's make our way to safety, teleport to the Varak Museum and claim our 10,000 XP reward from Minas on the second floor. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. If you have path 2, the teleports that are needed is a burning amulet or a Ferox Enclave teleport to make your way to the Wilderness Bandit Camp. Then from the Bandit Camp, we will need to make our way to the Graveyard of Shadows, which is a Karalgar teleport, or you could simply run east. From there, we will need to make our way to Port Serum, so I'm going to be using a Pest Control Teleport, since minigame teleports to Rat Pits will not work in the Wilderness. Or you could also just simply teleport to any Charter ship. After south of Port Serum, we will need to make our way to the Monastery, which is simply a Combat Bracelet Teleport. And afterwards, we will need to make our way to the Slayer Tower. The fastest way would be to use a Slayer Ring, but I don't have that, so I'm going to be using a self-graveyard teleport. So you were chosen to have path 2. In my opinion, the safest and the easiest of the three. Once you think you are ready, let's make our way to the first ghost, which is in the Wilderness Bandit Camp. Teleport using your Burning Amulet, and then run straight north and use Protect from Melee, because there are level 130s here. The ghost is in the center between the pizza hut and the general store. So what is the best way is to stack up all the bandits. And then lure them into the general store. Go inside. Make sure all of them are following you. Holy fuck the ruse are annoying. And now you're free to talk to the ghost. Be sure to turn off your protect from melee, because if you run out of prayer points, you will need to start the conversation all over again. Talk to the ghost and select option 1. Let the ghost tell her story until you've received the ghostly gloves. Right, once you've received the ghostly gloves from Renet, let's run south to level 20. Protect from melee. And then make our way eastward to the Graveyard of Shadows. Here are some lower level mods which you could kill using your fists or your weapons. Here southwest of the Graveyard you should find a mysterious ghost called Karlim. 
talk to the ghosts and let him tell his story. Once you've listened to the story of Karim, how he got cursed by Zeros by joining Zamorak, you will receive some ghostly boots. And you've received a pair of ghostly boots, let's make our way to the southern dock of Port Serum. I'm gonna simply use a pest control teleport to go there. And at pest control, I can travel with the squire to go to Port Serum. And on the exact dock where you arrive, there you'll find the next ghost called Larissa. Didn't even see it. There is the third ghost. Let's talk to her. Select option one to let her tell her story to receive some ghostly buttons. Once you've received the ghostly buttons, we will need to make our way to the Edgeville Monastery. You could teleport to Edgeville or use the Comet Bracelet to teleport straight there. Let's go upstairs. This requires level 31 prayer though. And the ghost should be near the altar upstairs. Talk to the ghost and select option 1 to let him tell his story to receive the ghostly hood. Once you've received the ghostly hood, Let's make our way to the Slayer Tower to go and talk to the fifth and final ghost. That ghost is located on the second floor between the staircase and the mages, infernal mages. All right, here on the second floor of the Slayer Tower, right before the Infernal Mages, there should be the final ghost. If you're able to spot it, let's talk to Vigora. Let him tell his story to receive the final piece of ghostly robes, the cloak. Once you have the cloak, let's teleport to Varrock. Let's make our way to the Varrock Museum to claim our XP lamp of 10,000. So, you are also an unfortunate soul that has path 3. Maybe call a clan member or a friend or log into your alt in about 5 to 10 minutes to help you with the Earth Warriors in the Edgeville dungeon. Besides from that, for the teleports of path 3, one teleport to the Desert Bandit camp, I'm going to be using a Camulet. If you don't have that, you could also teleport to El Carrot and take the Flying Carpet system. From there, we will need to go to the Lava Maze. You can simply teleport there directly using the Burning Amulet. But be sure to have a knife or a slash weapon to be able to slash through the webs. From there, I'm going to be running all the way back south to level 30 and using a Ring of Wealth teleport to the Grand Exchange. And from there, I'm going to be taking a spirit tree to the gnome ball field, which is in the gnome stronghold. After the gnome stronghold, we'll need to make our way to the Falado party room. I'm simply going to be using a Falado teleport. And from the Falado party room, I'm going to be using a amulet of glory to teleport to Edgeville 
to make my way to the Earth Warriors. Right, once you think you are ready for part 3, let's make our way to the Desert Bandit Camp. I'm going to be using a teleport to Anacras Temple. Also, just remember to be sure to not equip anything uh, related to Zamrak or uh, Ceredomen. Ancient is fine, don't wear anything that has uh, anything to do with Ceredomen or Zamrak, else they will attack you. Once you're here in the pub of the desert bandit camp, let's talk to the mysterious ghost and select option 1 to let her tell her story. Be sure to have one empty inventory because after this long story about the time of the God Wars, afterwards she will give you some ghostly gloves. Once you've received these, let's make our way to the lava maze. I'm gonna simply run straight there. From there, let's run north and slash the web. We will need to make our way to the center of the lava maze. Right, it was the northern path going east, and afterwards it is the most uh, eastern path. There he is. So near the ladder going to the Black Dragons, there is the mysterious ghost. Talk to Karim. Keep pressing space, then select option 1 to let him tell his story. And you will receive some pair of ghostly boots. Once you have these, let's make our way outside of the lava maze. I'm gonna be simply running south and then using a teleport to the Grand Exchange. There's an Iron Man. Reza the Pikea. Using Iron Man as a decoy in his name. So you don't log out. Could be either. I'm not waiting to find out. Let's go. I'm going to play some Lone Ball.
All right, here in the Gnome Stronghold, let's go west. Let's go west, west of the Grand Tree, and there you'll find the Gnome Ball Field. South of it, there you'll find your third ghost, Lenissa. There she is, let's talk to Lenissa. Select option one to let her tell her story, and you'll receive some ghostly bottoms. Once we have received the ghostly bottoms, let's teleport to Falador and go to the Falador party room. There, upstairs, is the second to last ghost. Might just need one more stamina potion. I ran out of stamina. Here in the party room, let's go upstairs and around the eastern side, they'll find Dalek. Talk to him and select option one. And after he has told his story, you will receive the ghostly hood and the location of the final ghost, which is at the Earth Warriors of the Edgefield Dungeon. I'm gonna go straight for the bank in Edgeville and I'm gonna be grabbing some food because I'm gonna be trying to talk to the ghost without the use of alts. So for that you might just need some more prayer potions and maybe a little bit of food if you're not gonna be using protect from melee. And after you've received your final piece of ghostly clothing we're gonna be teleporting to the Vrak Museum to claim our 10,000 XP reward lamp so that's also what i've brought along just now let's go to the earth warriors in the edgeville dungeon to complete this mini quest What is that? Once you are here at the Earth Warriors, let's go to the Northern Room and there is the ghost. But every Earth Warrior is aggressive. So let's talk to the ghost and try to make him stand still so you can use the ghost as a block. Not when he's attacking you, so you should be attacking from... should be walking like diagonally next to the ghost, so the Earth Warriors will be stuck. It's gonna be really annoying. And I've lost a ghost. Alright, alright, alright. Don't attack me. Tell your story, so I can get out of here. Oh my god, he just keeps on going. Right, that is the Curse of the Empty Lord completed because you've received the final piece of ghostly clothing. 
But there is a reward that you can get after you have completed this mini quest. Therefore, we'll need to head to the Varak Museum. To the second floor to talk to Minas. So climb upstairs and talk to the historian Minas to receive an XP lamp which grants you 10,000 experience on any skill if it is at least level 50. But my skills that are level 50 or above are not really worth putting 10,000 experience lamp on. So I'm gonna do that later. And congratulations, you've completed the Curse of the Empty Lord mini quest. You are awarded with full ghostly rope set which you can store in your POH as well as a 10,000 experience lamp above level 50 skill from Historian Minas and also the ability to start the next mini quest in the Marjorat quest line which is the General's Shadow. And the General's Shadow is required for the secrets of the North quest which is also a requirement for Desert Treasure 2. This was my guide how to complete the Curse of the Empty Lord mini quest. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.